This is how it looked before. They've gotten baggy over the years. Always have to have something to hold them in place or else this is how it looks now. Super happy with this result. It's such a difference. I no longer have to worry about them falling or feel uncomfortable wearing them. You guys see it is oh, looking good you can't even tell right so i showed it to my brother and i'm like can you tell i changed something about my jeans and he's like no they look the same and i'm like tailored them <laughs> this is great and this is so quick and oh <laughs> i got too close this is so quick and easy you can do this literally in like 30 minutes so let's get started with this tutorial. The materials that you need for this tutorial are your seam ripper, your chalk pencil, and a measuring tape. Let's get started. The first thing that you'll want to do is to put on your jeans backwards. So turn them around. I needed to take in three inches, so it's 1.5 from each side. So if you're doing this alone, take your time, pinch it, and do one line at a time. If you have someone there that could just quickly Create those lines for you as you hold the fabric in that's perfect too now that you have those two lines in place bring it to the, to the surface where you'll be working and tweak the lines to make them more accurate you need them to be straightened so your dart can be nice and neat next you will take your seam ripper and you have to rem remove the belt loop the belt loop is going to be in the way when you're sewing so you don't want it there plus this is what's going to help us hide that back seam. So you want to remove it with your seam ripper and place it to the side to attach later at the end. Once you have removed your belt loop, you can begin seam ripping your waistband. The waistband, you're just going to seam rip about a few inches away from your, from your dart line. And they start to get loose, so you can just like start popping up the fabric. And here's the thing, I'm using tweezers to take out the ripped stitches. If you don't have tweezers, you can just use your hands and start pulling them out, those loose stitches. But if you can get your hands on some tweezers, that will help you a lot because it just makes it nice and neat. And now that this space is open, you're gonna go back with your ruler make a sh see the straight line mine is like i remember how i said it's three inches so um, this is where i'm going to snip both those two, the waistband open i take a pin pin it pin it and sew you can own you can add like two pins and it will give you a nice flat finish so you bring the dart over to your sewing machine and you will so following the dart line that you made but here's a major tip and when you're making darts this is the best thing you can do once you reach the the very tip end of your dart click on the back stitch and sh show straight up and by doing like this your dart will be nice and flat don't forget to take out your pins as you sew so we have our dart next thing will be to close our waistband but I have to tell you guys that the dart you have two options you can leave it as is or cut open the dart and iron it this is more of a preference if you feel that the thickness of the dart will bother you when you wear them then you should cut it open I left it as is and also I was thinking that in the future what if instead of needing to take in fabric I need to make it a little, a little bit bigger now we're going to close our waist <sighs> we're getting closer it's what you'll want to do in one side snip like it's a very small snip but it's so it's not so thick when you fold it in then the other side you're gonna fold it in now take the the side that you fold it in and place it on top of the other side. Fold it in, iron both sides. 
and you want to make sure that it's nice and aligned to the center seam of your jeans this way it looks neat pin it and sew I sewed about 0.25 inches away from the folded line. You want it to align to that center seam. Remember the belt loop that we removed at the beginning? That is coming back. This is what's gonna help us give it that seamless look. Nobody will notice that you mended your jeans because you have that belt loop right there. So this is the last step. Bring back your belt loop, pin it in place, hiding that center seam, and you will sew with a straight stitch. But it's the same stitch that you used to sew, sew the dart, the same stitch that you used to sew the waistband. This is the same straight stitch that you're going to use to place back your belt loop. Make sure that you back stitch very well because since the belt loop is an area where we constantly pull and move and tuck around, so back stitch. The stronger your belt loop is, the better that's it make sure to try this tutorial with your jeans you can do this it will be nice and quick <laughs> and seamless see guys it's huge difference i am so happy with the results you will get the same finish following these steps they are boyfriend jeans they're not meant to be tight all i needed was to take in this amount here and it made a huge difference on the waist. So write in the comments what type of jeans you're mending. And I'll support the channel a lot if you subscribe and share the video. Share it on your social media, share it to your friends, subscribe, like. See you next Saturday.